um, I will just uh, give you a, a short uh, brief description of um, the work uh, and the project that we've uh, been, been doing within Peter Larsen Cafe um, in, um, in order to explore these uh, kind of benefits that we see from the, from the blockchain technology. Um, and uh, as Fritz probably already presented, we've been taking part in a, in a rather big COVID uh, project uh, together with uh, various uh, uh, universities in, the, in Denmark and Sweden um, and other players within the coffee uh, supply chain. And um, just hold on. Just uh, briefly, uh, some of the uh, primary uh, primary objectives that uh, that we've been and are looking into. Uh, first of all, um, we're doing a quite a, a, a big job uh, to identify and map uh, what is already going on, uh, existing, and uh, uh, also uh, future potentials of using the blockchain. Um, and with this respect, we, pri we look primarily into how we can uh, increase our uh, sustainability efforts. Uh, as you all know, I mean, working with coffee, we're working with all parts of the world, you can say, working in, in more or less 50 countries um, um, gathered around equator. Um, it gives us some kind of complexities in the ways of transparency and, and so on. Um, um, but also we will uh, try to, to, um, to see if we can develop a, a, a blockchain. Uh, could we uh, source our coffee and connect it to a, to a, to a blockchain uh, system? Um, we're also looking into the, the energy consumption um, and comparing uh, the energy uh, use uh, of using the blockchain uh, from what we are, uh, normally do. And then, uh, of course, since it's a, it's a scientific study and uh, we are uh, going to, to do uh, quite a lot in terms of uh, presenting uh, our work, um, which is the part that we're kind of entering now. I mean, the project has been going on now for, for three years and the part that we are now entering is that uh, we, will, we will start sharing more knowledge uh, and, and insights uh, from our work. Um, but looking into the just very, uh, like a very overall view, I mean, the Colombian coffee supply chain, which is the case that we've been looking into and, uh, and uh, a very uh, brief picture of the, the supply chain and, and we see various uh, uh, business operations coming from the, from the production at, at farm level and it, the coffee enters various uh, stations, purchasing points and goes to dry meal and export, import and, and ends up at our roasting sites in, in Sweden or in, uh, in Denmark. Um, and we see through that process, the coffee is uh, changing character as it comes from, a, from being a coffee berry that is picked from the tree. It's, it's actually uh, being changed into coffee parchment in parchment and, and uh, becoming green coffee that's, that is shipped in due to sex and, and, end to, and uh, ending up in, in our roasting sites. And, and we're roasting the coffee and it ends up in the uh, retail packages that we see and actually that process as we go along is is also I mean it's it's we are in the coffee business we are quite I would say we have a, a very uh, uh, detailed uh, transparent system uh, but we have also some weak spots and that's also something that has been a uh, part of the of the objective of this uh, study is, I mean, uh, can we trust the information that we have in our system? And uh, that's actually still uh, one of the biggest problems that we see. I mean, it's all dependent on humans. Uh, so all the information that we get in, I mean, 
if it's false at the first point, it's also what we end up with. So, um, but we've uh, been carrying out uh, some uh, very uh, uh, detailed uh, studies. We've been uh, uh, a project group uh, been studying the uh, on site the Colombian uh, system, and we went to see uh, some of our uh, partners there, and uh, went to see the farming sites and the various facilities. Um, in the Colombian uh, coffee business, and um, I mean, basically, what we what we decided to to look into uh, on forehand, and and some of the issues that we wanted to to describe in a blockchain were these um, uh, use cases that we see here, uh, and then as we went along, of course, much more information was available, and we could could enter uh, much more information into the system. But, but basically, um, these are the, the kind of informations that we would see, try to, to tie up in a blockchain. And uh, we're still, I mean, we cannot say that we are, we are all uh, now, uh, we have this blockchain and we are all set because uh, uh, I would say we still have a lot of uh, learnings to do, and and I would say the biggest question mark from the start is still what we consider the biggest the biggest question mark. Can we trust the information that we we get into this? And also, we would say that it seems like a pretty uh, expensive uh, technology for the time being. And are we getting the efficiency out of that uh, compared to the system that we are already running? And I would say this is uh, these were um, I was a little bit um, what to what to share with you here. But actually, I want to say that this is this is my presentation um, just to give you an idea of what we as a coffee company is considering about. Uh, about blockchain, but but I would rather say that you can you're free to to get to to ask some questions if if there are some things also related to what has already been presented that you want to ask me as a coffee professional about I would prefer that. <laughs> 